What's going on guys, you're with Hardy Tech, and welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum, the Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, we came all the way up this mountain thing, and with no game sound. So it was pretty much just, like, the worst video ever. Wait, do either of these side caves have anything interesting in them yet? No. Okay, so, no idea what the purpose is, and I actually have no idea where we are even supposed to be going. But, um, today, we have Game Sound, which is probably very exciting for you guys. Oh, that's right, I think the Team Steam guys were, like, blocking this path over here last time, so we could probably go that way now. Anyways, um, last time there was supposed to be Game Sound, and I, I made a boo-boo, and I accidentally didn't record, and then I almost did that same thing again today. But, um, I ended up, like, doing a little test to make sure that the, like, my audio sounded fine and everything, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, like why I would be checking my audio and in the test I realized that there was no game sound and I'm like oh, I almost did it again so eesh. luckily I managed to correct myself so there is game audio in this video oh god no oh god no rival battle okay um let's make sure everyone's all healed up oh god I don't have any prayers paralysis heals Urgh. I have an ice heal can we just uh, make that into a paralysis heal that'd be nice I guess not. Um, does anyone? Okay, orange carcass. All right. Okay. Okay. It's okay. We can do this. So, anyways. Uh, oh, we got dialogue. Oh, hello, Hardy. I see that your Pokemon team has gotten a lot stronger since our last meeting. I'm after the seven gym match. So I can think I could take a break to face you. Okay. So, anyways, why would I be testing to see if the audio is okay? Well, um, I believe you guys were aware that myself and Rusty were going to visit Star, who is Rusty's girlfriend. So. Um, we are actually at, well, I'm actually at Star's house right now, and I actually didn't think I'd have a chance to do, like, record anything. I don't even know why I brought, like, my microphone, but I ended up bringing my microphone, like, just in case, and, but I didn't think I'd ever get the chance to record anything. And then, um, Rusty and Star ended up, like, going out on double date with some people, so I'm at Star's house all by myself, and I'm like, well, what a fantastic time to record something, so... I whipped out my microphone, and so if if it wasn't for this right now, you guys wouldn't be having any videos today. So you should go thank like Rusty and Star for going out on their date and leaving me here all alone to realize how sad and pathetic I am. It's because it's because of that that you guys are getting it ready to tame it, you horrible people. I don't even know if I should have been reading that dialogue or not. Anyways, we're on Route 414, which is this a new route? Do we have, like, a map? Is there any... Okay, I'm just going to assume this is a new route so we can catch a Pokemon here. Which it looks like it's going to end up being an Ice-type Pokemon. Which, we got a Snow Runt last episode, so... Oh, wow, I am well on HP on Cluckers. So we got a Snow Runt last episode, so we don't... We're not really, like, in the market for another Ice-type, but... Oh, oh, okay. I was going to say, wow, that didn't kill. If he goes for, like, another Roar Beam, I might be dead. Which would suck. So, let's be glad that didn't happen. Um... Ooh, wow, Cluckers and Roxy, who, like, my two Pokemon to take on Ice-types, are both too weak to fight. So, let's go with Kekles, who can take on pretty much any challenge, including a Gailey with no pro- uh, Did I just say Gailey? <laughs> I meant Glaley with no problem. Um, uh, I don't know what it's- Oh, I'm out of Shadow Balls, so that sucks, but- But yeah, so that is why I had to do an audio test to, like, see what it sounds like in here, because I'm in, like, a place I've never recorded before, my setup is completely different than normal, I'm in a different chair, which is making my butt very confused. You have no idea how much butt comfortable- comfortability? How important that is when recording. I mean, if your butt's not comfortable, your mind isn't going to be able to think, and my butt right now isn't very comfortable, so I'm- I'm very worried, but um, hopefully the audio quality sounds fine. Like I know there's a fan on in the background, and if I would turn it off, but um, it's like 500,000 degrees in this room for some reason. Um, I have a fan on in my at my house when I do recordings, and usually I think you can hear a little bit, but usually the game sound kind of drags or drowns it out, so it's not as big of a deal. But um, let's see what our Pokemon for this route is. It's <gasps> ooh, I actually like this. Wow, you know what? I'm I'm happy with the Snover, and that was a horrible decision sending it Rusty. Why? Okay, okay. Let's just hope it it doesn't do that. And actually, that did nothing. Okay, Ingrain. I think we can. Yeah. Oh, Giga Drain. Okay. You know what? I'm out. Screw that. Um. Uh, <laughs> um. What's Fruit Loops move set? 
God dang, I don't have like anything I think I could safely hit him with. I think I could paralyze him. Okay, let's do that. Let's paralyze him and I guess we'll just start chucking Pokeballs. But that ingrain is going to be so annoying because he's going to be back at full health soon. So, um, yeah, I think any move I do will one-shot him because I'm just so OP. But I'm actually, I'm really happy with the Snowbird because Obama Snow is pretty awesome. We could use an Ice type. All right, well, I don't know. I don't think he can fit on my team right now. But if a spot comes open, he's definitely a good contender because a grass type and an ice type, that's like... Well, we already have an ice type. I just realized that. I completely forgot orange was an ice type. But we're going to nickname this Snover. Um, I think I'm going to nickname you Chewy. So, yeah. Because I, I don't know why. I'm just thinking of like Obama Snow. And for some reason, Obama Snow reminds me of like Chewbacca that got stuck in an ice... In a blizzard so yeah he's now chewy um do we have to heal up anybody or now nah, we should be fine taking on this trainer which is probably a horrible horrible idea i'm gonna regret saying that oh never mind it's just a teddy bear so i i just kicked a little teddy bear in the face i am just the worst kind of person i feel st i feel so bad i just like want to go pick up the little teddy ears's dead body it's just like rub it against my face like i'm sorry i didn't even hurt you i really hope this said neck trick because like this entire series i've been reading names wrong and that is <sighs> i can't tell you how annoying it is just how many times i've read a name wrong and i sent it a pokemon that turns out to be weak against what it really is Snow City. Oh, by the way, thank you for thank you people for telling me that an ice type gym is up next, which I'm actually relatively confident of, confident about because we got Cluckers and Roxy plus Fruit Loop with the super effective Rock type moves, and Keckles, who's just he does everything. Plus, yeah, you know this is probably like the one gym I'm feeling confident about, which is probably a horrible thing because every time I feel like confident, it turns to hell. So, yeah, um. I'm pretty sure this gym is probably going to be what we're going to lose, which, um, have we taken, yeah, you know, last time I think we took on an ice type gym that I remember in Spirit Gold, we took on Bryson, I don't remember what his name is, I want to think it's Bryson, and I'm like, okay guys, this is just going to be like a really short video where we take on a gym leader, and we literally just ended up fighting his Dugon for 20 minutes because it just kept using rest, that's all it ever did, it, it was so annoying, it was horrible, and gave me nightmares but it finally came to an end we like finally ended up beating the dugong somehow uh crunch isn't gonna do that much i actually think i think all of the glalie stats are 80 so it has like exact same base stats in every category which admittedly is actually it's pretty cool um that you know, you can use glalie is like it's equally defensive as it is attacking although 80 for a fully evolved pokemon isn't that great um, like, competitive-wise, it's kind of outclassed by a lot of Pokemon. But, um, for like, just, like, casual use, I would say it's probably a really good Pokemon to use because it can fill so many different roles. And I like that in my Pokemon. I like a Pokemon I could do whatever I ask it to. Because if I say, Glalie, I need a cup of tea. I know he's going to make a fantastic cup of tea. I mean, you. if I ask Kurokorok to make a cup of tea, I don't think he'll do a good job. But I know Glalie will because he's well-rounded at absolutely everything he does. So, I definitely, I, I trust Glalie. I, we have, we could, we could have a Glalie. I just realized this because we have a, um, a, a little candy corn thing that I can't remember the name of. But, um, we have one of those. So, we could get a Glalie and then we could have all the tea we want. And now I, I just, I really want some tea now. I think after this, I might, like, find a store and get some tea. So, thank you, Glalie. Thank you for being the cause of my having tea. Why, why does everyone have Manectric around here? I mean, I'm not really sure how Manectric, like, fits in with this area at all, considering this is an ice route. I mean, I can understand water and ice-type Pokemon, but Manectric? I'm... I don't quite understand it. And, wow, I got through that really fast, which is a little bit intimidating, not gonna lie. So... Oh my god, it's another 10 years. I don't want to... You know, I'm just going to peck you, because you're just so adorable. Oh my god. I, I love it. Yes, no, I'm going to peck you again. Oh, it lived. Oh my god, it's so cute. If I had to, like, pick one Pokemon to be real that, like, I could have as a pet, I might choose Teddy Ursa, just because of its, like, pure adorableness. I mean... Or Cubchoo. I mean, well, Cubchoo is just like a Teddy Ursa that got put in a freezer, so... 
Is this another Minect trick? I wasn't paying attention. It is! Wow, this game really likes to reuse their trainers. I mean, it's been nothing but pillow slimes and Minect tricks on this route, so... That's getting a little annoying. Be careful on the frozen lake, you might end up falling in. Well, that's... Okay, you bitch, get out of my way. That's actually really terrifying. Like, hey, you just... You gotta chill, hey, you might fall in a lake and die! But, I mean... I hope we don't die. That'd be really gruesome. I don't... I don't want to die. I don't like how this game is turning out, so, um... Oh, okay. So, I just saw this right before I started recording this. Um... I'm sure you guys are aware of the Nintendo 2DS. And someone actually asked me to, like, give my opinion on the 2DS. Which, that's not why I'm talking about this. But, really quick, for that one person. Um, it seems incredibly stupid. And I don't know why you wouldn't just get a 3DS. I mean, for 40 bucks, it's not that big of a... I guess it is a big difference in price, but I mean, the 3DS is so much better. I mean, I don't even think the 2DS can fit in a pocket. It looks incredibly stupid. Um, I'll, to be fair, I never like used the 3D feature on my 3DS, so that's not a big deal. But either, oh, what are you doing hiding up here? Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I think this is Diamond. Oh, or you could just, oh, you're gonna as soon as I walk down the stairs, huh? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I've been waiting for you behind these frozen trees for ages. Wait, I just walked up to you, dude. I was like poking you in the face like, hey, diamond, 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 hey, hey, diamond. And you just you didn't even acknowledge I was there. Do you have any idea how rude that is? You could have battled me over there. We could have battled by those wonderful trees with like the beautiful scenery in the background. But no, instead you want to battle on stairs because you are a weird, weird person. And I don't like that, okay? Yeah, great. <laughs> Did you see his face? He looks so pissed off. <laughs> He's like, oh, good job. You beat me, old bitch. Wow, yeah, I would I would be upset too. Like, if I waited by trees and then I just had, like, two really crap Pokemon. Well, okay, Tyranitar and Electivire are not crap Pokemon, but you know what I mean. I one-shotted them. It was, wasn't was a difficult battle, but we should be getting close to this next town soon. Oh, oh I, my God, it's come to avenge the little Teddy Ursa I kicked it. Oh, now you're dead too. That's cool. I, I don't know why, but um, when I like first saw Ursaring and Teddy Ursa, like the first time I saw them was in the anime because I didn't play the second gen games. Um, and when I first saw them, I was like intimidated, like big time. I'm like, oh, the Teddy Ursa is so cute. Then I saw the Ursaring, and it was like, oh god. Um, can I live another one of those? I did not see how much that did, but I'll just double kick and get rid of those problems. Here's another double kick while it's still asleep, and the Snorlax is dead. And that should give us a ton of XP. Actually, apparently Snorlax doesn't give off that much XP. So, I don't know why you wouldn't, like, why, unless you're doing a Nuzlocke. There's really, like, no reason not to catch Snorlax in the games, because uh, it doesn't give off that much XP. So, where's the Pokemon Center? Pokemon Santa, I, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 no, no. I came to let you know the Snow Sylvia's so gym leader is in the south of Mount Ice Storm. You should go there and bring her back to the gym. I think she's taking her Pokemon there to relax in the ice. That's all I have to get going now. I'll tell you. What? 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 I have to go back to that stupid mountain? Are you serious? Really? Oh my god. I don't even. We just got here. It's such a nice place. Okay, let's go find the gift Pokemon really quick because I'm sure there's. Oh, oh. Is that Professor Rowan? Party, just be looking at you. I can see you have a great potential as a Pokemon trainer. I'm going to let you choose from one of these three rare Pokemon. <gasps> oh, dude, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get a Turtwig, a Piplup, or a Chimchar. Um, we already have a firefighting type. A water Piplup could be awesome. Water Steel, but Torterra, Grass. We could get Leaf Seed going. Oh, that would be amazing. But another Ground type. I don't know, I was running two ground types before, so it's not that big of a deal. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna go with Turtwig, because he's awesome. Oh, wow, I need to have space on my team. Okay, that's cool. You know what? Fast forward powers. And suddenly, I have space on my team, so we can now go get Turtwig. But I actually think this time he's gonna offer Piplup. Oh, no, okay, he still offers Turtwig. Um, and we don't get a nickname it, so that sucks. We have to fly back to Seanport City, which... I will do it later, because I still have a ton of Pokemon to nickname it. I didn't realize this until just now when I went to put someone in a box. Look how many Pokemon we have. I mean, even if I white it out, I could still make a good team. I mean, I would still have, like, Chewy, Tiger, Faceless, Delinny, Dino, Koopa. Um, we, could, we could seriously make 
like a second team from this and have it kick serious butt. So I, I'm feeling confident. Like even if something goes bad and someone dies, I don't think we're going to be in any major problems. So that's awesome. And what? I wish my team like wasn't so perfect right now because I want to use some of the new Pokemon we caught, but I don't want to mess up the synergy of my team because it's really really like well balanced right now and i'm i'm satisfied with it so <gasps> ooh, pokemon i definitely need to go there and get some paralysis heals because paralyzed heals i'm sorry if i'm like annoying you guys by calling a paralysis but i know they're paralyzed heals i will get 20 of you they actually sell antidotes here yay i'll get 20 of you um super repels could be annoying or could be useful i'll get 15 just you know because why not um and i guess Get some Ultra Balls just in case, because I think we're running low. And we'll just spend the rest on Hyper Potions. So, yeah. Actually, do I have anything to sell? Um, I'm not sure. Because I know my bag keeps getting full, which is actually really annoying. Um, I have 28 Antidotes. Awesome. Can I sell anything here that I like won't need? Silk Scarf, I'll never use that. Ice Heal, I'm going to regret this, but I'll never use that. Um, okay, that should be fine. Anyways, do we really have to go back down to like the southern side of the mountain? Can we just can we just go up here instead? Cause oh, oh what is this? Astronomy Laboratory, Snow Ice Snows I guess that's Snow City's re space research center. So uh okay, that's cool. What goes on in here? Welcome to the Snows Astronomy Lab. We're studying out of space, looking at meteorites that fall into Ziri. Wow, that's super freaking entertaining. Meteorites can tell us a lot about our planet. For example, through them we've learned that the Earth's core is mostly made of liquid iron. How do you learn this from meteorites, out of curiosity? I mean, I, I know now someone in the comments who's like super smart and all that is going to like describe how meteorites tell us there's liquid iron in the core of the Earth. But, um, meteorites come from space. So, yeah. Just, just pointing that out. 415. Ooh, we could catch yet another Pokemon. Hopefully it's not another ice type. And when I say that, it's a snowbird, which, thank you, duplicate rule, we could try again. I'm assuming it's going to be a spiel. Um, because I think, like, the, it's, we, we already got snowbird and snowbird, so spiel seems to be, like, the next one in line. If there's even anyone here besides freaking snowbird so we could catch, jeez. Um, okay, no, that's cool, you know, whatever, we'll just continually have snow runs for the rest of our, I don't want you, okay, snowbirds. And I want you, snowbird, I already have you. Oh, we already got a snow right there. Wow. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, swine up. Another ground type. Okay, that's cool. I will take you. Um, We're going to have a ton of ground types and more ice types. So, I'm quite excited to get through this like route of iceness because now we have four ice types and we don't need that much. So, I'm going to nickname you... Um, I don't know why, but little, swine ups look like little like handheld vacuums for some reason. So I'm gonna nickname you Hoover, and I, don't, I think I don't remember if I've ever used that name before, but it sounds familiar for some reason. Like I've used it with another Pokemon. So if I have, I apologize. But uh, Route 416, Snow City. I really don't want to go back to that stupid mountain. It's so far away, and then it's just no. I don't want to. Don't make me. You guys are horrible people if you're making me do this. So I'm just I'm gonna ask kindly. Can we just send somebody to go like? get her for me and bring her back and I'll like pay you in Caterpie eggs I think we could definitely work something out there whoa what why is it level 18 <laughs> what the heck I just realized that like wow seriously level 18 scraggy I didn't even pay attention to what her first Pokemon's level was but that's that had to be like some kind of mistake that can't be right 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 level 18 like now? Okay, whatever. Well, Hardy, today I made an important decision. I'm going to stop traveling the world and train Pokemon. I enjoy it, but I'd rather do other things, like make my Pokemon more beautiful. I think my I only became a trainer because I was jealous of Lunik. I was never really what I wanted. I went to battle you one last time. Oh, so you're like, oh, I'm not a trainer anymore, but I'm still going to battle you and make your life hell. Yay! No, that's not cool. And you have a Torterra, which is even less cool. And it's big level Torterra, too. So hopefully he goes for... Crunch, which, what, really? Really? I hate, I, I hate Torterra. Mountain Dew is the only good Torterra, and, well, my soon to be new Torterra, assuming it. Oh, you have Weed Seed. Oh, that's. No. No. Okay. Um. Hopefully, after another Weed Seed, we'll still be able to kill it with Fly. Yay. Awesome. 
Good job, Fruit Loop. I'm so proud of you. He's been such a good Pokemon since we got him. So, he, he's made me very accomplished. Why do all these trainers only have two Pokemon now? Where do all your Pokemon go? Do you just, like, accidentally... I know it's in Nuzlocke and everything, but you guys possibly can't be that bad at this game that you have two Pokemon left. I mean, I know at one point I had three Pokemon left in, like, in Nuzlocke, but, um... Seriously, you, you suck. So, oh, hey, is this Lunik? HMO Dive can only be used outside of battle if you have the Glacier Battle. I'm assuming that means we get Dive in here. Yep, okay, there it is. Well, that's fantastic news. I guess we're going to have to teach Dive to somebody. Good thing we have like a million water types that we can um, give it to, which probably means I think Psyduck's going to end up being our Dive Whore. So, it's not like he's going to be useful for anything else. I mean, he doesn't even freaking learn Water Gun. Ah! Well, at least not in third gen. Why he doesn't learn Water Gun in third generation, which I'm assuming he doesn't in first or second either, is just incredibly stupid. He should. It should be like the first move he learns. He every water type should know how to squirt water, okay? Especially the female ones. That was, um. Anyways, <laughs> let's just go back to that. Let's actually go to Sean Port because. To finish off this video, because I just I don't want to go back to that mountain. We'll do that next time. We are going to go nickname some Pokemon. So, if for those of you who are waiting for something to die, that's not going to be happening in this video. For those of you who actually care and want to stick around and watch me nickname some guys, then hang around. We all will spend a few more minutes together and have an awesome time. So, what do we have to nickname? We have to nickname Dratini. Um, I believe we have to nickname Ryolu. We and no, we want to keep Dratini in a party, and uh, Turtwig. Wow, we only have to nickname three. I thought we had more than that to do. But let's go nickname these guys. So I don't have any idea what I'm going to nickname them. So it's going to be completely off the top of my head. I might go like the Coronas and the Kestra route and just like come up with completely random words. So, you know, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So Turtwig, you are now... Um, you are now... Where... Mm, when or... When no when when Noro, yes, when Noro, not even a word. Do I care? Absolutely not. So Ryalu, you are gonna be Jer Jerp Jerpin Jerpus Jerpus. Yes, <laughs> I am just. I should be like just punished for this. I am so horrible. <laughs> and Chitini, you will be. Danor, because, you know, why not? Anyways, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for us today. We did not accomplish very much, but we caught a bunch of new Ice-type Pokemon, and we made it to the next city, and apparently we have to go back to the mountain, unless I'm doing something wrong, in which case, I'm glad I'm not doing it yet, and you guys correct me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo.